Sometimes they're taken to the operating room just because they have a cyst, which is a fluid-filled uh, structure. Like a, I tell my patients, it's like a, a water balloon. And sometimes uh, the water balloon uh, is, uh, is a non-cancerous cyst. Sometimes that water balloon has areas of cancer in it. Uh, but it can be other things. It can be other non-cancerous conditions of the ovary. So sometimes the gynecologist or the general surgeon or somebody takes a patient to the operating room for pain or for a sonogram or CAT scan or MRI scan that shows this fluid-filled cystic structure on the ovary. They take it out and they don't have the facilities to get an immediate what's called frozen section diagnosis and uh, they just close the patient up and then a week later they find out oh wow there's actually ovarian cancer there and the operation I just described is not a complete operation so that patient would need to return to the operating room for what's called staging uh, it can usually be done with minimally invasive surgery whether it be laparoscopy or robotic surgery and what is done at the time of a staging surgery is we need to take biopsies from throughout the, the abdomen, or the belly, if you will, um, and determine if the cancer has spread beyond the ovary, uh, a stage of two or a stage three uh, cancer, or is it stage one, where all the other biopsies are negative, and as far as we can tell, the cancer is confined to the ovary. Obviously, somebody with stage one ovarian cancer has a better prognosis, but we can still cure patients with stage two and three ovarian cancer. All that stage means is it's where was the positive biopsy at the time of the surgery. That's all that means.